Hello, since Halloween is coming, I decided to make a video on how to make your Minecraft build creepy and scary to prepare for Halloween. There will also be a few examples at the end of the video on how you can use these different methods to really make your Minecraft build look scary. Now, the first method is your block palette. The block palette plays a very important role in making your Minecraft builds very scary. Now, as seen in these two very obvious examples, this fence design would be something I would use when I'm making a farm. While this, uh, on the other hand, is a, is a fence design that I would use on a cliffside mansion. You know, that fence like a barrier. There's two other examples as you can see over here which really it looks both are, are the exact same houses but the blocks are different so because of this difference you can clearly tell that this house is intended to look scarier than this house now these flowers hey, no that's not a flower yes the corn flowers also play a very important role in this because this has the cornflowers while this has the wither roses so this brings us to the next method which is the atmosphere oh you can't really see it but yes the atmosphere the atmosphere of the build give, gives the build a lot of atmosphere that's <laughs> so these are a few different blocks that you can use to, to change up the atmosphere of your build. There are obviously a lot more of blocks you can use, but these are just a few. Now, using these two different methods, you can clearly see how I've changed up this pathetic little house and changed up the landscape of it to make it look slightly scarier. I've also included my own hit, which you can you get using commands. So. Now as you can see, this house looks a lot scarier. Now, moving on to the last tip, it is features. Now this is the smoke foggy effect, which I will show you later on in an example. And this is a guillotine. It's what people used to chop off their heads in the medieval times. Uh, as you can see, I've attached, ah, there it is. Bob. I've attached Bob to a rope. So now he's stuck there forever. But the rope acts as like a pulling thingy and when you unattach it, the anvils drop and your head goes into the barrel below. That's not really a barrel, that's a composter. But you will just think of it as a barrel. Now the next one is a nether portal. Why? You might be thinking this nether portal is scary. Well, because of the way that I placed it. I place some stone around it. Oh, something went off. I don't know what that is. But yeah, so the way that I decorated this nether portal will make this nether portal a lot scarier and spooky if you if you put this nether portal in the correct place, which I will show you in a later example. Now this is like a cage. You can trap something inside, someone inside, maybe a player. Uh, you can make them upside down and yeah, it looks as if this cage is only held up by this small little pathetic chain And it's gonna drop into the lava any moment and kill whatever's inside So by using this kind of features And the atmosphere and the block palette you can create something extremely extremely scary and lastly Lastly, this is very important. You must add this to every single one of your scary builds. It's very important. It is the Elsa chicken. All right, I'm now on a world that I generated and using the tips that I provided just now, I have created a cave that looks kind of scary in a way. Now, using the block palette technique, I actually only used uh, the main blocks for this cave spooky thing is actually just stone and cobblestone. So 
why did I get the advancement? I'm not sure. But this will make the build look more standardized in a way. And I also covered the entire place in carpet just in case mobs spawn. But then I realized that I turned off mob spawning. So no mobs will actually spawn. Um, but I just did it anyway. It is something you can do because the, the color of this light gray carpet is similar to that of stone. So there won't really be much of a difference and it wouldn't be that obvious. So using carpet is also another way. Now using the atmosphere trick. Now how I lit this place up. Now how I lit this place up is actually using this redstone torches. Now why did I use this? So that the concept of atmosphere is clearer. So as you can see the redstone torch emits very low light which will make this entire build's atmosphere very very dark but still visible. Now as you can see this fog technique that I showed just now has been used over here as like this poisonous water some of some kind as you can see poisonous water flowing down which uh, I think is very creepy as is, let's just, just look at this it looks like it's foggy you don't know what's down there maybe it could even be water you know it could be something else so yeah that's very creepy and how you make this glass foggy effect is this place a layer of light source or any block it can be sea lanterns or glowstone in this case i use shroom lights and then on top of your light source use the carpet color similar or exactly the same as the main glass block that you're using here for the fog effect in this case i'm using lime and i'm using lime stained glass now you have to use a minimum remember you have to use a minimum of five layers if not it won't work it, you won't be able to see the fog effect you won't it won't work so you have to use at least five layers the more layers you put the foggier your fog effect will be all right so yes that was me from the past i forgot to add that clip in so i just recorded the past in the future if that makes sense now the nether portal over here that i showed also emits light so this is another kind of light source that not a lot of people use in their creepy builds but you can actually use the nether portal as a kind of light emitting thing so that you wouldn't have to place down so many torches which will completely ruin the atmospheric feel of this cave so yes this is all the tips I have on how to make your Minecraft builds scary. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Happy Halloween!